Right, this is a least to medium. You wanna, it's the random pick with weight problem. And I can't really re relate to real life, but it is what it is. So we have an array of positive integers, weights, where weights at the weight at any index is the weight of the ith of that index, the ith index. So we need to write a function, pick index, that performs weighted random selection. It's a keyword here, weighted random selection. So take note. To return an index from the weights array, the larger the value of weights, the heavier the weight is, and the higher the chances of its index being picked. Suppose that the array consists of weights 12, 84, and 35. In this case, the probability of picking the index would be uh, 12 divided by the sum of everything, 84 divided by the sum of everything, 35 divided by the sum of everything to give you these probabilities. So if we call pick index, there's a 64% chance that we're going to get the index one, 26% chance we're going to get 35, and a almost 10% chance we're going to get 12, uh, the index at 12, so index zero. Hopefully, it's clear, as clear as we can uh, make it. It says, we're randomly, no, it says we're, we're, we're randomly choosing from options. There is no guarantee that in any specific run of the problem, any of the elements will be selected with the exact expected frequency. Okay, it's just basically, they're telling us it's random. Excuse me. So it's a random thing. And uh, this is what it looks like. So, yeah, this is not very useful. I think this explanation does uh, more justice to things because this doesn't really tell you anything um, about the problem. Sure, the moment something is the biggest thing, it's going to have the highest probability of being returned. But that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking us to create a method that does that uh, selection for us. So this diagram is not super. One of this, this is one of the few cases the diagram is not useful at all. Now they give this naive approach that I really cannot relate to at all. So let's just help, help hop straight into the optimized approach. And in it, we're gonna have a class with an init method and a pick index method. Init is the constructor. We generate a list of running sums from the given list of weights so that we don't have to compute it every time we call pick index. And then we generate an so it returns an index at random, taking into the into account all the weights. Uh, we generate a random number target between one and k, where k is the largest value in the list of running sums of weights. We use binary search to find the index of the first running sum that is greater than the random value. Okay. And when we're done, the low the low pointer will point to the index of the first sum, running sum greater than target. Return the index found at the chosen index so a binary search we're going to have a low a high and a mid so at the end of the day we're going to return the low what it points to the, the index it points to and this diagram might be useful so we have all these um, they're not sorted at all but we're going to compute the running sum of all the weights and this is what it looks like so we have 10 10 plus this is this all three of these sum to this all four of these sum to this and so on then we're going to generate a run, generate a number from zero to this, the max. And we call pick index. And let's say, let's say the number is 600. Uh, we're going to find the first running sum that's greater than the random number, 600 in this case. And that's what it looks like. So we're looking for the first number that is bigger than 600 then it becomes a binary search problem, which suits the pattern, the overarching part, overarching pattern that we're evaluating um, the modified binary search pattern. Um, so yeah, you want to keep that in your head because that keyword I mentioned over here, it's weighted random selection. So it's ra random selection that's, that takes into account uh, the weight distribution, the distribution of numbers that you have. So this just becomes a regular binary search problem. Um, 600 is bigger than what's here, so we have to move low to one after it and recalculate mid, which is what you see here. Then uh, check mid, it's less than mid, so we're going to move high back here and recalculate mid. And then mid is less than it, so we're going to move low here 
and that's going to break the loop because low is no longer less than high and we have our value what we want to return there's that index index five which if you remember is this value so that's the random thing we're looking for now what does all this look like in code we have the method here it's a constructor or init right in other languages and the pick index method in our constructor we're gonna keep a running sum so start off at zero loop through every single weight uh, append add what we have so far so the current weight to what we have so far and push it into the array and the total sum is going to be a running sum so we know the total sum of the weights we have a running sum of everything in the weights array next we have our pick index method and this is where binary search is going to happen so we need to generate a random number between one and the total sum of the array so between random number times total sum plus one as random number gives us a uh, float floating point number between zero and one we multiply by that by the total sum and floor it to get a whole number integer and add one to it so we don't have zero uh in there and what do we do with that we initialize low and high variables okay comes a binary search thing essentially uh this phase right we're using the running sums so while low is less than high that's the terminating condition we get the calculate the mid as usual every all the the last what one two three videos have been about this pattern you find mid if the target is bigger than mid what's at mid you move low to one after mid right like in this case the target was 600 is bigger than this so we're going to move low to one after four and then when you do that you loop again and recalculate mid which is why mid is going to move over there um and you keep doing it until this happens so low is no longer less than high otherwise if the sum is less than or equal to um mid the target is less than or equal to mid we update high to what mid is um so in this case uh mid is bigger bigger than 600 that we're looking for so we're going to move high to where mid is and then we calculate mid in the next in the next loop we calculate mid in the next loop that's all there is to this problem um and then when we're done with everything low is going to be the first value higher than the target and so we're going to return low the index at low and we're done that's all there is to this problem um mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. Time complexity for the constructor, we're running the sum. We have to run through the entire list, so it's O of n. For the pick index method, it's log of n because it's a binary search. The problem space is halving after every iteration. Space complexity is O of n because we store the same amount during the for the constructor during the when we're when we're collating the running sums. And the pick, pick index uh, is O of one for space complexity since constant space is utilized we never need more than target low high and mid to find what we're looking for no matter how many entries there are in the way so the space that's why the space complexity is constant and that's all there is to this problem see you tomorrow